Hello, everyone. Welcome to season three of Voices Talk Show. It's great to have our guests here today. Uh, I'd like uh, Greg to say a little bit about himself. Scott said, I'm Greg Bull. I've uh, been in Alexandria since about 2000. Christy and I, we've adopted our two children in uh, 2012 and 14. My name is Christy Bull, and I was born and raised in Alexandria, and I work at Alamere Health. My name is Mike Sheldon. Um, I'm a retired conservation officer, uh, mm -hmm. district supervisor. Uh, my wife, Patty, and I, we have uh, one biological daughter, and we have adopted um, two times from China. Well, I know inquiring minds are going to want to know, <laughs> What are some of the reasons uh, each of you have chosen to adopt internationally? Christy and I, we first got married, we always wanted to have children, but we couldn't have them biologically. So um, actually our path started with uh, Guatemala, actually, um, but that program closed, and then uh, we tried for a, a, a domestic adoption, and that fell through. So we took all that negative energy at that time and put it towards a positive, uh, energy uh, adopting uh, children from China. Uh, Patty and I got married when we were quite a bit older than most folks. We, we mm -hmm. did have uh, one biological child and after that through some medical um, things and so on we were told it's not going to happen. But right away we we wanted a bigger family so badly we mm -hmm. we met with both uh, Catholic Charities and Lutheran Social yeah. Services they suggested uh, international adoption, and you know, I, I just believe that's where we were led. Mm -hmm. And uh, right away, we we looked at China because, um, you know, very healthy children, and um, yep. we knew that there was a lot of children that needed a home. This was like a miracle. This this was yes. meant to be. Exactly. It's a wonderful experience. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it's interesting. I have one biological son who's, who's 42 now, and my daughter is uh, 26 and when the midwife delivered our son and placed him in my arms there was this moment where I felt electricity <laughs> and my everything in me said this is my son you know right. when the courier came off the plane from South Korea and she placed Naomi in my arms it was the exact same experience yeah. this oh my goodness <laughs> this is my daughter no difference, you know, mm -hmm. just different ways of becoming a family. Right. Did you have any concerns about adopting from another country? I guess my biggest fear was would my children or child be accepted by my family, by my mm -hmm. relatives, and what would it look like having a adopted child in the school system. I concur with that as well. Um, you know, just being out in the community of, you know, mostly Scandinavian uh, heritage in Alexandria, you know, what would people say? You know, what would they think of having, you know, a child from a, a different country? Um, but our community is incredible. They are extremely accepting of uh, children from other countries. And, um, like Christy's fear of a family not accepting them, they didn't even bat an eye. They just knew that those are the, our kids and um, they accepted them right away. Do you remember when you first got your photo <laughs> of your child? It's like, man, our prayers were answered. And yep. uh, I was just so excited that I didn't think of any repercussions whatsoever. Yep. But I do have to add that I had a grandmother who's not here any longer, but she was probably 90 when we adopted our first child from China. And during World War II, she lived in Mississippi. I wondered what she would think when I placed that baby in her lap. And she was in a wheelchair and so forth, and she cuddled uh, that baby like it was her own. It was amazing. Yeah. Um, my father grew up in a day and age where people of color and different nationality were shunned and frowned upon. So it was my dad, I think, who we had the mm -hmm. most concern about accepting all of this. But uh, little Naomi from the get-go just melted his heart. 
And it was a, it was a really beautiful thing to see uh, this older man, my dad, who I love, um, suddenly come to a different conclusion about uh, a different race of people. And that gave me hope that uh, things can change in the world when we get to know one another, you know, when, when we get beyond the stereotypes and the assumptions and uh, actually embrace the, the truth that we're all beautiful people. Da